has it. Full time. Full time. The referee has blown the whistle here. And Chelsea have won. Nottingham Force 2, Chelsea 3. Bowley and Hudson Adoy with the goal for Nottingham Force. Modric, Sterling, and Jackson. Three goals for Chelsea have secured a massive three points for Chelsea now. I'm going to quickly take a look at the table, how things are looking. How things are looking here. As you can see, Manchester City are up top. Uh, let me just quickly show you. Chelsea, seventh in the Premier League. They've closed the gap on, on Newcastle. They are at the same point as Newcastle. So Newcastle have 57 points. Chelsea have 57 points. The difference is goal difference, of course, by 10 goals. Manchester United below Chelsea, Manchester United playing Arsenal tomorrow. So we will see what's going to happen in that game. But as for Chelsea, they made sure that they were going to stay above Manchester United, which is in seventh place. Potentially, they can finish in a sixth position as well. So look, you've got to give it to uh, Mauricio Porcentino. He has done really well. He's done really well, especially in the past, I don't know, 10 games. They, they look like a team. They look like they care about how they perform for the manager. You can clearly see Chelsea have significantly improved uh, and might be an indication that he's going to stay next season. There are ta some talks that Pochettino might leave Chelsea, but I feel like they should give him one more season. Uh, the amount of injuries that he had, same with Manchester United. There were a lot of injuries, but you can see the system. You can see the patterns of play when Chelsea play. You don't see that for Manchester United, but you do see that for Chelsea. So I do think that Pochettino is a better manager than Ten Hag. And I think Pochettino should be given another opportunity, at least next season. The likes of Reese James and Nkuku, all those guys were out uh, for Chelsea. But look, nothing really to play for except for uh, some respect. To try to finish in the sixth position and Chelsea do have a chance to finish in that position. But yeah, that is it in terms of chances, in terms of possession. They completely dominated the possession here tonight. You're looking at a 68% for Chelsea, 32% for Nordic Force. It's been a dominant game. It's been a dominant game, but close game, I would say. Really, really uh, close in terms of the results. But I think possession-wise, they completely dominated Chelsea tonight. Uh, as for Nottingham Forest, we quickly we could take a look at that. I forgot to show you that. So no, uh, Nottingham Forest, they were going to be safe if they get a draw today. They were going to be safe if they get a draw today, but they have not gotten a draw they have lost which means Luton Town do have a chance to survive it's highly highly unlikely but they do have a chance minus 31 so they would want to win a game by 10 goals or six goals and expect the Nottingham Forest next week to lose by six goals I mean that's the only way Luton Town will survive and I think regardless of the situation I think Luton Town is going down uh, today we have confirmed that Burnley also have been relegated. So Sheffield United, Burnley and Lewintown, all these three teams that came up uh, from the bottom, they are going back down. They, it looks like they're going to be uh, going back down. But yeah, man of the match in this game. I don't know. I'm probably going to give it to uh, Palmer. I like the way he moves the team. I like the way he creates chance for the forward. I know he didn't get to score today, but I'm going to give it to Palmer. Smash a like on the stream if you think Palmer is your man of the match. And let us know in the comment section who has been your man of the match. As always, thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.